There's a lot of background noise here because I am at a wreck site in British Columbia in the North Thompson area. Hefley Creek. No, I think it's Hefley Lake, Little Lake it's considered. It's a wreck site. It's really beautiful here. I enjoy my time here. Well, happy Canada Day to you all who are Canadians that are any of the Canadians out there that are my subscribers. Happy Canada Day to you. And for any of you in the U.S., um, in a few days, you'll be having your Independence Day celebrating your nation's birthday. So happy Independence Day to you all. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I want you to know that that um, you, you who tag along with me on my journey, it encourages me to do more of what I'm doing. And I hope my content's not too crazy, but anybody who has stumbled across my YouTube channel, I just want to say my name is Renee and I, I live in my van full time. I travel with my cat named Jake. We we do a, n a number of different things. I like to do videos about van life, videos about just mundane and everyday life things. So that's what most of my channel is about, to help people out there that who are interested in getting into van life. Uh, I did a questionnaire, not a questionnaire, I just put out a, a community page, on my community page if anybody had any questions for me and I just wanted to answer them in um, Boho Blue Van, Laureen asked me, how is the canopy, i.e. tarp, attached to the van that I'm sitting under right now? I bought a PCP pipe length and then I chopped it down to the size that I needed it and I think my tarp is six by eight so it's eight feet long and i attached it to my roof racks and the the end of it is kind of hanging loose so i just strapped it down with a a uh, one of these things and until i get another set of roof racks um it stays like that and i will just uh, attach it to my roof racks when that time comes. So that's how it's attached to my roof. Nothing fancy, nothing hard. And I just used some zip ties. And I used eye hooks and drilled holes through it and put the eye hooks through so I could just snap my tarp into place with some S hooks. That's how I that's how I have my van attached to my or my roof my tarp attached to blah, 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 my van. <laughs> And uh, that's, the wind is getting in my way. <laughs> Let's see if this wind will settle down. Mm, the next question comes from AJ Ro AJ's Road Tripping 5505. Um, he is out of, based out of Germany. And he, he asked me, is it possible to live nomadically in Canada without a proper address? The main issue in Germany is the auto insurance. Luckily, the company allows my postal box as the address. And I do think that Canada is somewhat the same as Germany. You'll have to find a place where the post office box is recognized as your address. Um, I do believe there are some in Canada, AJ, but I'm not sure where, but I remember coming across them on the internet and down at the coast in, near Vancouver there is one location I do believe that has a proper address that you can use and so this makes it easier for people to get auto insurance and so forth. So yes it is possible to live nomadically in Canada. It's not easy in some towns. We find the places that we need to go. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. And Laureen asks another question. Boho Blue Van. Have you considered coming to Northern Alberta? I would love to go to Northern Alberta. This year, I haven't made any trips or plans to do anything great. Just because I 
spent all of last year building my van and this year I just want to stay close to home. Um, there's a few things happening with me personally with my health and some of the issues that I need to take care of so I have to stick close to home. I am waiting for a big surgery on my knee. I'm getting a knee replacement. I have to be prepared for that and ready for that. Do you have any gray poupon? <laughs> well, Mark, you made me laugh. <laughs> and to be honest with you, Mark, I had to go look up poupon, but I don't think that's the poupon you're talking about because poupon means baby. No, I don't have any gray babies. <laughs> Simple. I laugh. Thanks, Mark, for that. <laughs> that just about um, sums up all the questions that I do, do have or had. And if any of you have any more questions to add or ask of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, please do drop them down in the comments. Um, I appreciate them all, all the questions that you do ask. The site is full this weekend because it's a celebration weekend. So it's a busy weekend. People have decorated their, their campers up for Canada Day, which is nice and festive. I, of course, only have this hat on, so and it's not very festive. So I completely forgot that it was Canada Day. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna, I'm going to try and do something red and hang something out. I hung out a string of lights around um, my campsite to try and look a little bit more festive. Anyways, if any of you just noticed, um, put my logo on my cupboard and when I have my van open people can see that I do have a YouTube channel. So that's one way that my logo out there and my name out there. Some of the things that I do while I'm camping or I'm in a rec site, I, I don't like to just sit and do nothing. I don't have anything like any watercraft stuff, I want to eventually get a long or a board uh, so I can go out and go out, get out on the lake and do some of that. Um, I'm excited to do that. So next year, that will be my goal is to buy one of those and have that to do while I am at the rec site or at a lake, especially. So in the meantime, some of the things that I do, I made a halter top. Um, crochet a halter top that's what I did it takes me a long time to do anything like this to try to do some stuff and then this is a basket this one took me a long time to do but anyways those are some of the little things that I do and I still have to do some finishing off on this but those are some of the things that I like to do in my spare time most of all go out there and be the best you never give up on your dreams and Always give something of yourself to somebody out there in this world. You never underestimate the power of giving. It is so powerful and uh, lovely when you receive and also when you give. Thank you to all of you who have subscribed to my channel. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you for joining in on this channel. I appreciate it. I love that you guys are so interested in what I'm doing and it helps me to grow my channel into uh, something that you would like. So if you have any suggestions or comments that you want to uh, suggest to me, um, I am up for and open to hear them. So drop them down in the comments. And don't forget to press that like button if you like my video. Bye for now.